सिक्सथ मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन चैरिटी बिगिन्स एट होम दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गिव नॉलेज टू दोज हु बिलोंग टू दी डी टी रिलीजन एंड हु वर्शिप शिफ एंड डी टीज क्वेश्चन वॉट एक्ट ऑफ द फादर कैन नो ह्यूमन बींग कैरी आउट एंड वाई आंसर द एक्ट ऑफ एस्टाब्लिशिंग पीस इन द होल वर्ल्ड इज दैट ऑफ द फादर अलोन ह्यूमन बींग्स कैन नॉट एस्टाब्लिश पीस इन द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दैम आर विशियस पीस कैन ओनली बी एस्टाब्लिश वेन दे नो द फादर एंड दे केम प्योर बिकॉज ऑफ नॉट नोइंग द फादर they half became orphans song to live in your land and to die in your land om shanti you repeatedly have to explain the meaning of om shanti because no one understands the meaning of om shanti similarly you repeatedly have to say man mana bhav that is remember the unmitted father people say that the meaning of om is god the father says om means i am a soul and this is my body the supreme father the supreme soul also says om i too am a soul the resident of the supreme region you souls enter the cycle of birth and death i don't yes i certainly come in a corporeal form to explain to you children the essence of the beginning the middle and the end of the world no one else can explain this if you don't have this faith then go and wander around the whole world and find out if there is anyone else who can give the knowledge of the self and the beginning the middle and the end of the world no one apart from the supreme father the supreme soul can tell you the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of the world cycle or teach you raj yoga no one else can purify the impure first of all make effort to explain to those who are worshipers of the deities only those who belong to the original eternal deity religion are the ones who have taken the full 84 births they are the ones who will be able to understand very well those who come later cannot take 84 births only those who are worshipers of the deities and those who study the gita will listen to this knowledge in the gita they have just made the mistake of putting krishna's name instead of god's therefore you should explain to those who read the gita you should ask them what is your connection with the supreme father the supreme soul shiv he is called god shri krishna is one with the divine virtues he had a divine kingdom and all the people in that kingdom have divine virtues now from being vatu worship they have become worshipers therefore you should first of all try to uplift those who belong to the original eternal deity religion charity begins at home you also have to explain to the worshipers of shiv shiv definitely does come because they celebrate his birthday he is the supreme father the supreme soul he must definitely come and teach you raj yoga no human being can teach you this neither krishna nor brahma can be called god because the best ever of salvation for all is the one father because he is the ocean of knowledge he is also the teacher of all no one else knows the history and geography of the beginning the middle and the end of the world the father says i am also called the ocean of knowledge the living seed the seed would have the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of the 
introverted tree. This is why I am called the ocean of knowledge, the almighty authority. What authority does he have? He knows all the Vedas, the scriptures and the Granth etc. He explains to you, children, the people who recite the scriptures say that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years. But that cannot be so. This is the human world tree of the variety of religions. In the Bhagavad, they have written that its duration is very long. The Bhagavad is not a religious scripture. The Gita was the religious scripture through which the deity religion was established. There is no religion established through the Mahabharata or the Bhagavad. They have just written it as the history of Sri Krishna. The father explains children, explain to those of the deity religion that they have taken 84 births. In the golden age, there was just Bharat and no other religion. Only Bharat was heaven. Only Bharat is remembered as the highest on high. It is also the birthplace of Shiv, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who comes and purifies the impure. Therefore, Shiv is worshipped here and his birthday is also celebrated here. He must surely have come into the impure world. Everyone calls out, Oh, purifier, come. Bharat was pure and its residents then went around the cycle of 84 births. Those who were pure residents of the heaven have now become impure residents of hell. Shivaba made them pure and then Ravan made them impure. At this time, it's Ravan's kingdom. Every man and woman has the five vices in them. In the golden age, there were no vices. Everyone was viceless. Now, they are all impure. And this is why they call out, come once again and purify us. In the golden age, we were pure. We were in the kingdom of Ram for 21 births. It is now Ravan's kingdom and everyone is vicious. The father says, lust is the greatest enemy. It causes sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end. Now conquer it and begin pure. You have been committing sin for birth after birth. You have become the most tamapradhan of all. Allah has been mixed into souls. At first, you were golden age, then you became silver aged, then copper and then iron. While Allah was being mixed into you, you continue to come down the ladder. This only refers to Bharat. You take 8 births in the golden age and then 12 births in the silver age. Those same people of Bharat then became the moon dynasty and then the merchant dynasty. Souls became impure. The father says, I come and make Bharat into heaven every cycle. Then Ravan makes it into hell. This drama is predestined. The father now explains, Shri Baba is the ocean of knowledge. Shiv is the highest on high. The one who is worthy of being worshipped by everyone. He is the one who is worshipped first. He is the unlimited father. You definitely receive the unlimited inheritance from him. The people of Bharat have forgotten that only the incorporeal one is called God. People do remember him. It isn't that all are God. On the one hand, they remember God and then they also defame him. On the one hand, they say that he is omnipresent and then they call out, Oh, purifier, come. The father only comes and explains through the body of Brahma to the Brahmins who are the mouth creation of Brahma. You Brahmins are now the top knot. Shiv is about the Brahmins in the variety form image. They have portrayed deities, warriors, merchants and Shudras. They 
do not mention brahmans at all because they see that those brahmans are vicious therefore how could they be called those who are more elevated than the deities the father explains that they even sing salutations to the brahmans who are to become deities no one knows accurately when it was their kingdom where did heaven come from you now understand that baba has come and that he is established in heaven through brahma he inspires the destruction of hell through shankar there was also the mahabharat war through which the gates of heaven were open they sing this but they don't understand anything they even show that the flames of destruction emerge from the sacrificial fire of the f- knowledge of rudra that part is truly being enacted now the war took place 5000 years ago the empire world was also destroyed then when they relate the knowledge of the gita they say that there were three armies the yadavas were the residents of the europe who invented the missiles through science the gita was spoken exactly 5000 years ago the father explains that these three armies exist even now it is sung there are those who have non loving intellects at this time of destruction that is there are those whose intellects have no love for the supreme father the supreme soul they don't understand anything at all apart from you no one has any love everyone has a non loving intellect at the time of destruction only you pandavas have loving intellects you only remember shubhaba you know that shubhaba has come to give you the inheritance for 21 births your intellects have love for shubhaba no one else knows the father at all therefore there are the three armies you are the pandava army this is the time of destruction you know that death is just ahead of you shubhaba says when you became pure you will become the masters of the new world in the golden age there was just the one deity religion there were no other religions now all the other religions exist but the original eternal deity religion doesn't exist they do not consider themselves to be deities they say we are impure they go and sing praise in front of the deity idols you are full of all virtues 16 celestial degrees full whereas they say of themselves i am vicious i am without virtue i have no virtues they remember the father you also have to remember the one father without remembering the father you cannot become pure in that case you would not be able to claim a high status there can be only be peace in the world when the impure world is destroyed people try to have peace in bharat and in the world but that is the task of the one father alone human beings are vicious how can they establish peace there is fighting in every home because of not knowing the father they have become complete orphans in the golden age they were completely pure and there was peace and happiness the father is now once again establishing that purity peace and happiness no one else can do that the people of bharat are now residents of hell when they resided in heaven they took rebirth in heaven they are now impure which is why they remember the purified father your children now understand that it is only by remembering the father from beyond this world that your sins will be absolved you receive a limited inheritance from your worldly fathers whereas you are now claiming the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father from beyond this world these matters have to be understood this is not like any other spiritual gathering 
that is the path of devotion whereas this is the path of knowledge you have the happiness that baba is making you into residents of heaven those who became residents of heaven in the previous cycle will become so again you cannot become deities without first becoming brahmins this matters have to be understood at present there are no degrees means of purity in bharat no one knows anything all are slipping in the slip of kumbhakarna the father has now awakened you you have now come here to become residents of heaven no one but the father can make you that the golden age is called heaven and the iron age is called hell as are the king and queen so the subjects all are now born through vice deities never take rebirth through vice you children promise the father that you will remain pure but while moving along you became defeated and then the income you had already earned is totally lost you are hurt very badly those who became amazed on hearing this knowledge and who related it to others than ran away although they have visions there is a lot of disturbance by maya in those visions just as people caught such a interference in the radio wavelengths that cannot be heard it is the same here maya creates obstacles in yoga the whole effort lies in yoga the ancient yoga of bharat is remembered acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point have true love for the one father and become true pandavas death is just ahead of you therefore become pure and the masters of the pure world second point conquer lust the greatest enemy which causes sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end and became pure remove the alloy of vices with remembrance and make yourself a soul golden aged blessing may you become an embodiment of success by understanding the failings in each one's mind with the stage of manmana bhava explanation the children who remain stable in the stage of manmana bhava can know the failings and the minds of others no matter what their words are continue to practice understanding what their feelings and intentions are by understanding the feelings in each one's mind you will be able to fulfill their needs and desires of attainment through this they will become eternal effort makers then in a short time you will see great success and service and instead of being an effort maker you will become an embodiment of success slogan at the time of going to sleep hand over everything to the father and become empty and you will not have any wasteful or vicious dreams om shanti